Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakya, is going to explain you Mux tree in this video. Now see, Mux tree, that is what we are using it to obtain higher order multiplexer using lower order multiplexer. So the basic agenda of Mux tree is to obtain higher order multiplexer using lower order multiplexer. Now let us try to understand this by some practical example so it will be more clear like you see for example if I have one multiplexer over here right and let us say this is 2 cross 1 multiplexer so here we have one output and we have two inputs right now if I further connect this multiplexer with another two multiplexer with two cross one multiplexer you see where this two multiplexer that is of two cross one only so here we have two inputs and one output like that it is connected right so now you can see resultant of this is having four input and one output now further if I want to enhance capability then all I can do is I can connect few more multiplexer over here. So if I connect few more 2 cross 1 multiplexer as you can see. So in that case now you can observe there are 8 inputs and 1 output. So see this is what seems like tree right where there are different wings of this tree and that is what we are doing it by having multiplexer so this is referred as mux tree so this is what mux tree and in this mux tree you can say we have obtained 8 cross 1 multiplexer we have obtained 8 cross 1 multiplexer by 2 cross 1 multiplexer right now see how many 2 cross 1 multiplexer is required to obtain 8 cross 1 multiplexer so you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we need to have 7 2 cross 1 multiplexer to obtain 8 cross 1 multiplexer right now let me try to explain you how to identify this type of questions. The reason is in entrance examination you will be finding there are questions based on how many lower order multiplexers are required to get higher order multiplexer. So let me give you first question and then we will solve it step by step. So here our first question is how many 4 cross 1 multiplexer is required to get 32 cross 1 multiplexer. So see whenever this type of question is coming all you need to do is we need to have 32, multi, 32 cross 1 multiplexer so 32 and by using 4 cross 1 multiplexer so we need to divide it by 4 and then whatever answer is there this is 8 again we need to take 8 over this side and perform 8 divided by 4 again that is what 2 again we need to do 2 divided by 4 so that is 0 0.5 so this is what less than 1 right so we need to stop over here and here what you will have to observe see we need to divide higher order divided by lower order and then we need to repeat this division like this and we need to stop as if answer is equals to 1 or lower than 1 right and after that we need to add all these values so 8 plus 2 plus we don't need to add half we need to add one right the reason is you cannot have half multiplexer you will have to have 
one multiplexer instead of half multiplexer right so for this question we need to have 11 multiplex 2 4 cross 1 multiplexer to have 32 cross 1 multiplexer right let us have few more examples so that will resolve our understanding so next question is so question is how many 2 cross 1 marks is required to get 4, 64 cross 1 multiplexer right so we need to do this operation 64 means higher order divided by lower order that is equals to 32 again we need to do this division so 32 divided by 2 so that is 16 again we need to do this division so 16 divided by 2 so that is 8 again we need to do this division 8 by 2 that is 4 again we need to do this division 4 by 2 that is 2 again we need to do this division 2 by 2 so that is equals to 1 and as if your division is equals to 1 or lower than 1 then we need to stop that process right now all we need to do is we need to add all these values so that is 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 so this is 32 plus 16 48 plus 8 56 plus 4 60 plus 2 62 plus 1 63 so this is 63 right so we can say we need to have 63 2 cross 1 max to get 64 cross 1 max right let us have one more question so that will be helping you to understand how to identify total number of lower order of multiplexer to get higher order of multiplexer right so here my next question is so here how many 8 cross 1 multiplexer required to get 64 cross 1 multiplexer and to have this answer as we were been doing process all we need to do is higher order divided by lower order and that is what we need to repeat till our answer is 1 or less than 1 so here 64 by 8 that is 8 again 8 by 8 so that is 1 and now we need to add all these digits so our answer is 8 plus 1 means 9 so we can say by having total 9 8 cross 1 multiplexer we can obtain 64 cross 1 multiplexer so this is how we can identify requirements of total lower order multiplexer to get higher order multiplexer by using mux tree right i hope that you have understood this video now in next video i am going to explain you how we can have physical interfacing of mux tree so that will resolve your understanding bit more so in next video we are going to make physical implementation right so that will be resolving our doubts i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any query regarding what i teach over here you please place your queries in comments so that i can further discuss it with you